Welcome back to the channel. So, <coughs> 166x, that's how much bigger Pilbara Minerals is compared to Global Lithium. So, that's Pilbara Minerals there. Pilgangoro, they got upgraded their resource again. And they're a $5 billion company. So, then we got Marble Bar Project here. It's in the same sort of rock formation. There's other slides on that, probably down here somewhere. The Goldilocks Zones, they're called. And look, they've already got a bit of resource here. And they're currently expanding for more. So I I'm gonna just say that there's probably it there's probably some there that might not be. So anyway, back to where I was going. Another lithium player I will talk about 8AG. They got two producers of lithium hydroxide and lithium carbonate backing them from China, putting money into them. They got CS CSIRO helping them find the lithium with advanced technologies that I'm not educated to talk about. <coughs> we'll talk about them later. Okay, close that one down. So this is a $5 billion company, Pilbara Minerals. They've got a lot of lithium. So we've got Pilbara Minerals, uh, and then Wagina, it's owned by Mineral Resources. It's not actually in production as yet, but they probably will bring it in production pretty soon. I'm not sure if that's actually built. I think it's on care and maintenance. Funny that with the lithium prices, they haven't put it back in action. Yeah, care and maintenance. So, and here's the actual, also truth about lithium stocks. EXC. So how did I find this stock? Because if you go to Global Lithium here, Muli Yellow. So I was like, hmm, what's that mine? Looked it up. These guys own it. Permanently closed. So obviously... Lithium is only been hot this year. It was down the doldrums last year. People couldn't make their money on. They've obviously gone broke. So basically, with these small companies, you're basically just paying. They raise money to drill some land they got, and they see what happens. So <coughs> this could go broke, or they could go very well. That's the risk you have to take. You're putting ten thousand dollars in. Just be prepared to lose that ten thousand. But also, just think, if you won, they take off. A 2x is like pretty likely if they go well, and 166x. So that's how much bigger these guys are than these guys. Obviously, there'll be dilution with raising money, things like that. But it's going to be a pretty big upside if they hit, and I'm guessing they're going to hit. These guys got options, so if they get to a certain amount of tons, he gets to buy shares at 20 cents. So those options could be worth millions. So he's obviously putting his mind. All these guys are putting their mind into finding that lithium and spending the money wisely to do so. So they've got your best interest because if they hit, they're gonna get a lot of money and yeah. So their interests are aligned with you. Everyone's financially motivated. And don't say you're not because you definitely are to an extent. And if you're not, that's great for you. Good on you. So open, so they're gonna oh look at that drill. They're gonna keep drilling. They're actually drilling right now. And I think an announcement might be brewing, but you would think what happens with announcements, if you think about it, like these people, they have this lithium coming out of the ground. If you're working in a company, are you going to tell your best mate when you see him that, oh yeah, we found a lot of lithium today, um, yeah, you probably should buy some shares? Yes, you are, because you're just going to buy some before the announcement comes out. So. You some s unless you're a straight arrow, maybe there's straight arrows here, I don't know. But these guys, one of these guys probably going to tell their mates that, oh, yep, yeah, there's a big lithium coming out, just get a few shares. And you'll see the price probably creep up before the announcement comes out. It does happen, it does happen. I'm not sure if this exterior resource is the same, but that company went bust, something about a coffee bean grinder, I'm not sure what that was. So back to this slide here Mount Holland that's if you get FRS so FRS to buy the company is about 20 million Global Lithium is about 30 million and they both got probably the same risk to reward although FRS is closer within a few kilometers of Mount Holland and how far is GL1 from Hilgangura? probably 100 kilometers. So, 
what this is basically cracks in the rocks <coughs> the rocks crack and the lava boils up from the surface of the earth boils up through the cracks in the rocks and leaves behind lithium and this is the interesting thing here is that this here I'm not too sure but I'd assume that this here is probably the lithium so I think it's about 6% the spudgy is about 6% lithium and spudgy mean with 6% lithium is worth like a thousand dollars at the moment give or take and then once you process it further you get more money for it um, so there's a lot of demand going to come obviously because electric cars better than diesel cars once we get it all going so you can have what was it regenerative braking so you don't need to have to put in your brakes wear it your brake pads you just let go of the accelerator and the NG you can't do that in the petrol car regain petrol can you no and lithium can get recycled again and again even though it's pretty hard not like petrol petrol just becomes a gas and goes into the atmosphere so there's so many benefits for battery operated vehicles and the quiet list goes on we're eventually going to go there so if you don't mind risking whatever you want to risk you can go GL1 on the ASX or FRS on the SX so ooh, they came back a bit but I think they listed at 20 cents so you've already doubled your money if you bought on the IPO <coughs> I think we got about 5 million in cash for drilling GL1's got 8 million in cash which said it will last them 2 years so obviously they spend as little as they need to to find the lithium so basically your company up like this you want to find the biggest deposit something big enough to make sense to build a mine off and that's where you go first get there get the money from that and then use that money to do more drilling and make more money and you think there's all this lithium coming on board, on board but it's probably still not enough for the demand so even if everyone ramps up lots which they will for the next 10 years there should be so much demand it's not funny in my opinion do your own research so if there's cracks if in this area there's already cracks coming up through it's not fair to say that there's other cracks around this area where the lithium's come up through so I say there's a fair chance that there's a lot of cracks around this area where the lava is bored up through it and <coughs> these guys just have to find the best cracks and if they do 10x, 20x, not unlikely remember the 166x if they become as big as Fugangura they already got 10 million tons so and by the time they bring out the announcement they've hit a really big one or slowly builds up to it it's going to be too late so you have to probably buy in now and risk that money so if they hit something really big they'll go up maybe a bit and they keep hitting they're just going to keep going up but they could become like EXR who own this Muli yellow mine so I might do more research on that how, why that panned out previous lithium price was down and only just came back into making a lot of money recently so Pilgangura was actually a tin mine and that's how they got all the drilling they dr already drilled it for looking for tin the lithium was there also and then they said oh we got all this lithium let's switch to lithium so they started tar targeting lithium and that's how they got the head start so f looking for tin and coincidentally there was lithium there as well strangely Wagina if you want to research why Wagina hasn't came back into production feel free to do so it seems with the high lithium price they should be and also remember electric cars cost money and if that thing in China happens if people lose money in the share market they're not going to be spending money willy-nilly you don't lose money in the share market and go oh I just lost a lot of money in the share market and spend money so the market goes down then everything goes down obviously if the market goes up then people say oh I just made all this money on shares let's buy a new car so that's how it sort of works in a little way everything has its price and if it's the right price people might buy it so this is them 10 million tons this company here they got a real good project really close to an existing city so they're really cheap um, 
their 600 million, they're probably going to head up to 2 billion or so they think, providing they find more lithium. And that is it. So I'll leave that video here. So remember, GL1, FRX, maybe put some money in both and just forget about it. Just forget about the money because you might lose it or maybe you come back and your $10,000 is turned into a Tesla Cybertruck. Wouldn't that be nice? Thanks for watching and I'm probably going to buy more of Pilbara Minerals, sorry, GL1 tomorrow. And even though I'm going to lose money, I'm really, t it's money I know I, I can afford to lose. So yeah, I might buy some GL1 and some FRS. FRS ASX. So if you didn't watch my previous videos on FRS, I will talk about them now. Okay, so announcements. So they've done this thing where a satellite in the sky scans their place and <coughs> sorry for that. So Asta advanced something. Anyway, the satellite thing beams down, rays, and then shoots back saying, Oh, we got lithium here, or probably do have something like that. So, this is the Herb Grey Reserves, which if you look up here, is this one here. Mount Holland. Earl Grey, Mount Holland is the same mine. So, back to FRS. <coughs> so, that's in there. And look at that, 5 kilometers, so probably 10 kilometers away, you think there's going to be cracks in the rocks with the same lava has flowed up through the rocks so FRS is probably a good pick as well remember you could lose all your money so be be prepared to lose but be prepared to win you have to be in it to win it and all said in a years time in hindsight you'll be I uh, shouldn't have invested them I it was obvious they were going to go broke or you might say damn I wish I invested them I would have made so much money so just remember, you only live once. If you've got money to spare, chuck it in there. Amen.